Yes, so hello guys, welcome back to another edition of Sports Updates Ghana. And coming up in this edition, the newly appointed interim Black Stars head coach Otoado has successfully met with Chris Hilton as well as assistant coach George Watson. And also, Otoado has been working behind the scenes and has successfully managed in speaking with a number of Black Stars players. I'm talking about Arsenal star Thomas Partey, Crystal Palace striker. Jordan Ayu, Reading Brothers, and the Adam and Abdul Babaraman. So I have all the gist here. So as usual, if today is your first time here, don't worry, subscribe to the channel, sit back, relax, share your comments there, like, share, and that's all you have to do. So quickly, let's set the ball rolling. So immediately after he was appointed as the head coach of the Black Stars on interim basis, I'm talking about Otto Adu, he traveled to England where he went ahead to meet with his assistant coach, that's George Boatin, who is the youth coach of Aston Villa and managed to talk to him. Well, Otuado's main mandate as the head coach of the Black Stars on an interim basis is to help the Black Stars qualify to the 2022 FIFA World Cup in Qatar where they'll be facing off against the Spy Eagles of Nigeria in a playoff which will be played in a two-legged affair, one at the Cape Coast Post Stadium and the second leg being in Nigeria. Well, the Black Stars would have to win this match if they want to return to the Mondial after failing to reach that place at the 2018 World Cup which was played in Russia. So this time the Black Stars are looking forward to returning to the World Cup and the man leading them is Coach Otoado. So Coach Otoado was given a number of coaches he's going, supposed to work with uh, Masudi Dramani as his assistant coach as well as George Watson is also an assistant coach and Chris Hutton who is the technical advisor. So according to reports, George Boatin uh, met with coach Otoado and they finally spoke on a number of issues concerning their preparations for that game against Nigeria and key among that issue was how to uh, kind of um, select players and all that. Well. If you heard reports that Otoado is still in Germany, well, that is false. Otoado has moved from his base in Germany to England and has been meeting a number of people. Well, um, Otoado, proud to being appointed as the head coach of the Black Stars on an interim basis, you were um, rightfully informed that the GFA traveled to Germany to go and meet Soto at while Chris Hutton, who was uh, on the side of government, was in Ghana. Well, the GFA managed to convince him to accept the job. But first of all, they went to Dortmund to seek uh, services and they informed Dortmund that, okay, we know the job that you are giving him is not substantive. So you just give him to us on an interim basis. If he's able to achieve his target that we want, then we'll take him on substantive basis but if he's not then we will come back so that is what the GFP managed to do by telling Dortmund so immediately the GFP finished that they came to Ghana without Utu Ado and came to convince government that this is what we are considering this is A, B, C, D and government says that we want Chris Hilton in the picture we don't want Utu Ado then the GFP says that okay we'll compromise let's give Utu Ado the chance to become the interim head coach then later on we'll give Chris Hilton if Otoado is not able to deliver. So that is how I understand it. Half away from that picture, immediately then Otoado was appointed as the interim blasters coach with Chris Hutton as uh, technical advisor. Now people didn't understand it and there were speculations that Otoado was still in Germany. No, he moved to England. So when he went to England, he met with George Boatin. After meeting with George Boatin, according to reports or inside information from GFA sources, well, the coach managed to speak to Chris Hutton, who has also returned to England. And, well, Chris Hutton is also doing his background uh, research and trying to help and complement Coach Otoado's work. So, he finally met him and they were able to speak on a number of issues and preparations towards that game against Nigeria. So, this uh what um this so these are some of the things that coach otoado has been doing in the background according to inside formation the new black stars interim coach that's otoado also met with some key players in the black stars that is arsenal star thomas party and crystal palace striker that is Jordan Ayu. Well, I know people have been raising eyebrows as to why he decided to meet Jordan Ayu because he has not been scoring goals and all that. But well, you can't take it away. The Ayu brothers have been helping the Black Stars in a long while. And if we are to qualify for the Black Stars, well, you might need their services 
or what do you guys think? You don't you don't think that we need the IU services? Well, the brother that the captain Andrea you would not be available for this fixture after picking up a red card during the AFCOM 2021 uh, in a game I think against Comoros. Yes, Comoros. He had a collision with the goalkeeper and was shown a red card. So Andrea you will not be playing that final. Uh, game against Nigeria in the playoffs. Also, Benjamin Tete, who picked up a fight in one of the matches, will also not be available for the game. So, that is about that. About the players will not be available. But, also, I do, according to inside information from the GFE sources, was able to meet uh, Thomas Party, Jordan Ayu, and reading FC players that. Andy Yadom and Barbara Man and try and uh, get uh, the relationship going and inform them about the task ahead and the need to stay fit and all that. So that is what the coach was able to do to try and raise their awareness and tell them that see this game is very important to me and all that. So that is what he was able to do well. It appears that the coach is also trying to convince some players to um, play for the Black Stars. We have Callum Hudson Odway, he's yet to return from uh, Abu Dhabi after Chelsea won the trophy. Well, we'll see how that one goes. But Mohamed Salisu is also there. We've not heard from him ever since his uncle said that he was willing to play for the Black Stars. Let's see how that one goes. Maybe Otoado would. Um, partner that Chris Hilton to try and get some players to play for the Blasters. I'll be really uh, elated to see the likes of Edin Ketia switch nationalities and play for the Blasters. I don't know it's eligibility though, but I think Edin Ketia, who plays for Arsenal, might be available to play for the Black Stars in future. So if Otuado and Chris Hilton are able to partner and get this going, well, it will be fine. But what has been Masu Didi Draman is the other assistant coach of the Blast has been doing well. It appears that he also been doing some of his uh, background works and if I hear anything, I'll bring it to your fore and notice and let you know. But in the meantime, well, Ghana's youth star, that Fatawi Saaku has left Dreams FC for Portugal where he will be going to Sporting CP to play for them in their youth side. The player will be turning 18 years. That's why he wasn't sold to any team in the past. But now he's going to Portuguese side Sporting CP and he'll be playing with them for the time being before um, he'll try and see if he'll get a good move to another club and all that. Well, Fatoy Sarago played a uh, good role in Ghana's uh, quest for the AFCON. 2021 only that he wasn't given enough time to showcase his talent but hope that in future he'll be given the nod and uh, this new coach that's Otoado will believe in young players and help the team gel and return into winning weight and also the Af the World Cup 2022 in Qatar. Well that'll be all for this edition of Sports Update. Can I hope you got informed. I hope uh, I touched on the things that you wanted to hear so as usual please subscribe to the channel, like, share and don't forget to leave a comment.